Barry Blank, National Estate Jewelry Buyers, who's with us here this morning for another installment, if you will, of What's It Worth. And uh, good morning, Barry. Great to have you back today. How you doing? I am doing wonderful. It's a beautiful day. It's sunny. I can see Brooklyn and Staten Island from my backyard. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we Not do, bad. do have some nice weather today. Uh, before we talk yeah. about our topic here of diamonds, uh, a, a story from Australia where an amateur prospector uh, actually unearthed uh, a gold nugget worth about sixty nine thousand dollars and they say that gold it's very rare to find a gold nugget that's uh, worth that much so i guess if you do the math about what an ounce of gold costs uh, for a sixty nine thousand dollar gold nugget it's a pretty sizable piece of gold right Gar- right uh, Barry? Probably about, yeah, 50 ounces probably wow. 50, you know 60 50 50 something ounces so that would make you know 50 ounces is probably about a pound and a half almost two pounds 50, 14, 4, no, 4 pounds, so 5 pounds. Wow. That's big. That is That's pretty big. big. And typically when, yeah. when when the gold nuggets are found, it, it's just kind of a bizarre shape. There's no uniform shape to something like this, right? No, no, gold was done, gold is molten. It's not It's not crystalline like uh, amethyst, which comes up in a hexagonal crystal, or, or diamond, which comes up in a cubic or by pyramid is what it is. But no, gold is amorphous. Interesting. And depending upon where this guy found this, Barry, does that dictate who actually owns this gold nugget, or is it finders keepers? Uh, that I cannot answer. Okay. I will admit that I don't know the Australian rules, but my feeling is he probably, it's probably on, well, I don't know, probably. If it's on land he owns, it's his. Okay. But there are there are mineral rights in different countries, but uh, hey, if I would have found it, I'm not sure who I would have told. <laughs> exactly. Then the whole world is going to be flocking to that one little cubic centimeter of land. Very true. Very true. I'll keep an eye on this, and hopefully the the, the news services will keep updated as to how this plays out. But uh, for our topic today, Barry, maybe people come to your store and say, what color is a diamond? And I guess there's no one answer with diamonds available in so many different colors, right? What people don't really know is that the most common dime color, the diamonds common, is brown and brownish and dark brown. So the when we find a colorless diamond, not we, but you know who, mm-hmm. the miners and the companies that own the mining, when they find them, those are the ones that get cut into the ones that we see. Um, you know, and, and, and those are exceedingly rare, especially with no color whatsoever. So, you know... Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so so those are the ones that are really really difficult. The uh, the, the color, I guess, what what makes the color up, Barry? Is it an impurity or is it something that actually is an enhancement to the diamond? When you see all these different colors, because you see yellow and uh, you see these pink diamonds, uh, a black diamond is probably very cool to see. Uh, I don't think I've ever well, seen a red diamond, but they're all kind of different, right? Well, red, red, by the way, it's funny you should bring that up. Red is the most, the rarest color and the most expensive color. I recently heard a story about a, uh, a jeweler, somebody like myself, mm-hmm. who had uh, retired, and he was going through his hoard of colored stones, and he pulled out a about a 60, 70 point, which is under a carrot, red diamond. Wow. And it was... And, you know, he was just looking, and one day I'll go through my old colored stones also, which we get from all the jewelry that we recycle. And um, he, that was worth a lot of money, uh, $60,000, dollars $80,000. Wow. Red diamonds are so rare. Do you so have, rare. Do you have people come to the store, Barry, that say, hey, I really like this diamond here. Uh, can you make it red? Is there a way to artificially color a diamond or no? I'm not. I'm not a diamond scientist. Okay. But there are. We we don't. It's not actually artificially coloring. What the one of the methods that I'm aware of is when they use a a, a particle accelerator, which is a scientific experiment, a, a piece of equipment that could be miles long, that accelerates a subatomic and atomic particles. And I'm not a scientist, so don't quote me on this. Um, and they bombard the diamond with this what you would think is radioactive material, but the diamond does not become radioactive, and it changes its color. I don't know the specifics if you could make one diamond red or green or blue or whatever, but that's, from what I understand, that's the most 
a common way of doing it. Wow. And all the colors uh, exist uh, of diamonds. You can see blue diamonds, orange diamonds, even green, pink, uh, purple. Uh, all the colors are out there, all right? All colors. Matter of fact, there was years ago, and I think there still is, an exhibit at the uh, Museum of Natural History in Manhattan. And there's a jewelry room, and in that jewelry room is a is a display of colored diamonds under like 12 layers, 12 layers of bulletproof glass. <laughs> you know, whatever, right, I'm right. exaggerating, but I like to exaggerate, you know. <laughs> uh, is it subjective, Barry, if someone comes to your shop and says, oh, hey, look, I have a red diamond, and you look closely at it, and it's more pink or more orange. Oh, no, no, this is definitely red. Is there a way to, to verify the actual color of a diamond? Is there some sort of scale that you use? Well, that we use we use the Gemological Institute of America, which, which is GIA, and which is also where I went to school uh, thirty five years ago, something like that. Thirty eight, forty years ago, I don't even know. Nineteen seventy eight, close. At any rate, um, and they will put it on their spectrum spectroscope, and they will tell you what the major color is. Uh, they will tell you if it was naturally created as a yellow, green, blue, whatever color diamond, or if it is induced by man through some other process. Um, and once that's done, then you have a certificate that states either natural or fan- or, um, or, 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 or treated. That's what they call it, treated. And that would determine its value. Interesting. So also, by the way, there are levels of color. For right, instance, right. There's light, if it's a yellow, there's a light yellow, there's a light fancy yellow, there's a fancy intense yellow, and then there's a fancy vivid yellow, the vivid being the most expensive. So even though there's this, colors, but then there's different layers of the colors, I see. And every color will be just like that. So uh, if, I saw, if I saw like a white, a white diamond or something, Barry, I'd think it was fake. But it's it's white. It's like like you see like a piece of paper white, right? Yeah, but when we say white, we actually mean colorless. Oh, okay. So there's a difference. Okay. okay. Right, right, right. When 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 I don't I I found there are black diamonds, but I of a white diamond would have to be a the only way I could see it is a really poor diamond with a lot of white or, or frosted inclusions. So I've never seen something in white. Gotcha. But I've seen I've seen diamond briolettes and I've seen diamond beads and I've seen diamonds with holes drilled in them that can be strung on necklaces. It's interesting. So if somebody has a diamond and they want to verify the color, uh, bring it to you and uh, you can make sure and and, and you can see if uh, determine the natural color and uh, you can get that verified for them, right? If we if we can't, we can get it verified and we would charge a, a whatever GIA charges plus whatever small fee we would charge and we would. Uh, be happy to do that. Matter of gotcha. fact, we're, we're certifying a diamond for a client right now, uh-huh. and uh, we're, it's not a color diamond, but they want a determination of color clarity and everything else, and um, we're going to make an offer based upon the GIA certificate. Oh, very cool. Okay. So if you have uh, some color diamonds and you want Barry and his expert staff to take a look at them, well, why not swing by the store? Why not go today with the free evaluation days that are happening? And remember, as always, with National Estate, they make you an offer, and an expert will ask you how much you want. Or they'll never ask how much you want. It's, it's never, unethical. Right? Never, ever do that. So never, uh, never, never. every day is a great day to go to National Estate. So uh, go see what's happening over there. And uh, interesting discussion about the diamonds here today, Barry. So so thank you so much for that. And uh, hopefully uh, people will swing by. How was Mother's Day? Pretty pretty brisk at the store? Really, really good. We good. sold a uh, fancy yellow four-carat diamond uh, yesterday, actually, just after. Very nice. And uh, we have we have some people that keep coming. Every, it's a funny thing. They come in, you got anything new today? And I look <laughs> right. at them, and I, I know they mean recent to inventory, but we don't buy new jewelry. We only, well, we'll you know, we don't we don't stock new jewelry from manufacturers. Right, right. But uh, the, uh, the reputation that you have of always having new things uh, that are in the display case there, maybe that's what's bringing people back and, and asking every, about the new stuff. Day, that's cool. And, th- and this Friday, 90% of my inventory is going to Las Vegas for a big trade. Wow. Okay. Uh, so are you going to be t- coming to us uh, from Vegas next week? or? No, I leave on Wednesday, so I'll okay. still be home with the following Tuesday, I'll be in Vegas. Wonderful. Okay, sounds good. Barry, I appreciate it, and, and uh, thanks, as always, uh, for the great information today. Uh, best to you and your family on Memorial Day, and we'll talk next week, all right? All right. Catch you later.